Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. In this episode I am going to start out with getting the egg into orbit around the moon and then we're going to land the aeroponics module down onto the surface near our base, connect it up and then land the egg. I don't want to land the egg first because uh, we don't know where things are going to be. I, I want to find a nice place for it. Of course it's uh, destined to uh, get back into orbit again and return home anyway. So I uh, just want to make sure that I get all that right. Okay, but first let's get into orbit around the moon, which means getting into lunar sphere of influence. So out it goes. Its, it's uh, solar panels are deployed. So there are some suggestions for how to save the other egg, and uh, we'll do that. Probably I'm just going to use the claw. Um, remember, uh, un unless we've got a Kerbal up there who can slap a battery on the egg, that egg, it's not going to be very useful. I guess we could do that with Kerbal Attachment System. I, I haven't tried that out yet, but we could just slap a battery on it, and in that case it would be functional. That's all it really needs. So that's a thought too. But otherwise uh, we can just uh, claw it and uh, bring it back down. Or otherwise stock it up and use it for fuel or who knows what because it's got a lot of resources up there and there's no point launching those resources again, is there? Okay, here we go. This does not need to rendezvous with anything. It just needs to end up at the base eventually. And I, I can't fix the inclination right now because if I do, uh, the base will be moving around anyway. And since we're doing the aeroponics module first, it's not a good idea to fix the inclination now. Okay, so that'll be a fair orbit, one end a little bit higher, just in case I, uh, I'll do the inclination change from over on that end. And that will be fine. Whoa, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Hello, hello, camera, what did you do? I did not press, press any camera button, I was just uh, doing uh, reduced time warp. It was uh, changing the camera view, but uh, it ended up shoving me into the vessel, which is not very nice. Okay, this should be good. Whoa, my camera is weird right now. Uh, so I just changed camera again, and then it uh, sent me into the vessel. What's up with that? What? What is this? Hey, stop that. Is there some weirdness about the egg that causes it to do that? Or is there going to be a lot of that now? Did I press some button accidentally that leads the camera to act wonky? Alright, that's good enough. Okay, so the egg's in orbit. Now we can switch to the aeroponics module. Where are you, aeroponics module? Got so much stuff in up here. Okay, so here's all this. I believe the fuel is all transferred already. Yep, definitely. So I think we're good to decouple. Okay, and let's make sure we're controlling from up here. Not the rechargeable battery pack, but this control from here. All right. Come on. Really need to remember to uh, get some mod propellant to the to the pumpkin, but for now, let us aim for our base. Where are we? We are here. Pretty good place. Well, no, uh, we could. Oh, our base is starting to get into the dark, but we'll go for it anyway. Uh, we'll do the plane change here. No, no. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. That should do it. Let me target something at the base. Set us target. Okay. Uh, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Every time I set uh, something as a target at the base, it goes very, very slow. I'll wait a little bit, but I might have to quit out. This is the same point where I had to quit out before, too. It's something about this moment where I set something at the base as a target. 
program is still functional, it's just running at like one frame a second or less. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so it seems like I'm getting this get orbit at UT result is nan. I I just I quit out and I came back in and this is uh, this is the error that I'm getting a lot of. Uh, oh, don't go into the moon. Oh, it's tough to control the camera when you've got less than one frame a second. All right, I'm going to edit the persistent file in order to unmark that as target. Okay, I deleted the bit in the persistent file where it was targeting the helmet miner and now we have frame rate not great frame rate but still frame rate and so I will proceed a little bit worrying that we can't seem to target things well the helmet miner in particular perhaps because uh, that's the same one I targeted last time and had the problem so maybe it's just that I don't know why though okay retro burning for descent Oh wait, so let's make sure everything is kosher with that. Well, the only engines we have are on the on the pumpkin, so it should be fine. Okay, well, as you can see, our base is quite visible without even targeting anything. So it's nice to have the distance constantly up. I still forgot to pick up the debris. How to do that. Okay, we're approaching the base. We have plenty of delta V coming in basically straight on. Again, trying to land this pretty close so that we can hook it up easily. Guess the thing to do would be to have it on the opposite side from the reactor, huh? You wouldn't want your aeroponics module to be right next to the reactor, right? Hmm, we've got rotation now. I'll, I'll let it rotate. It's fine. Again, I don't want to waste RCS. Oh, we're in render range now. Okay, we've sort of cleared a very long render range pause. Yeah. Okay. We are clear of render range issues. But that pause is going to get really long eventually. <laughs> okay, I think uh, this is the tough part. I'm going to have to figure out exactly where I need to be and maneuver the camera so I can see where I'm landing this puppy. I should call one of these sky cranes the stork, and then uh, uh, sort of the stork bring the baby. If you if you remember your old cartoons, let me go straight down from here and see where exactly I am. It's tough to see from this angle. I mean, sure looks like I'm over the place, but where exactly? quite getting a sense of that. Okay, trying to be ridiculously cautious here. Descending at about 5 meters per second. And that's slower because we've got a little bit of physics lag. Again, definitely not complaining about physics lag because um, well, this is a lot of physics to render right now. 
Just this one tiny parcel of lit land on an otherwise very, very dark landscape. Still going straight down. It looks like we're about in the right place, but it's tough to be sure. Pretty close to everything. I think I'll just hook this up to that habitation bubble. That dome. I think that's alright, is it? Probably. Oh, there we go, we're going up again. Might be a little complicated if we ever plan to retract that thing, but I don't see it that happening, so... Certainly, Kerbal Attachment System works just fine with that bubble. We transferred resources previously. Yeah, with the precision I'm aiming for, landing one of these things now is taking a long time. But it's worth it if I don't have to tug everything around all the time. Good practice, and I, I think I'm getting better at it. I say before I've actually landed a thing and disaster might happen, but I think I might be getting better at this. Okay... Yes, yeah, sir, that looks mighty fine. Oh, boy. Slow down. Slow down, guy. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, undock. There we go. Just take it easy, take it easy. Just make sure everything is safe. It looks like a good position, I think. About the same as the other ones. Those were all tugged into position. That one directly into position. Very good. Alright. The mighty pumpkin triumphs again. Plenty of Delta V to spare, as you can see. Can certainly carry heavier loads down. The aeroponics module is relatively light for a, for a payload. Tons of lights on the pumpkin, as you can see. And we are out of render range. Yay! Now we've got frame rates and physics rates and everything. I put these things on as precisely as possible, so whatever spin we've got is probably unavoidable at this point. Okay, that's a fair enough orbit. It's got a lot of acceleration anyway. Alright, so let's go back down to the aeroponics lab, uh, probably through the Space Center just to be safe, and hook up its services to the rest of the base. Okay, here we are with the Kerbitat with John Gass and Sam Dunkerman. Sam Dunkerman is in charge of the reactor, which isn't quite operational yet, but John Gass is our guy to hook up the base, I think. So uh, let's have John Gass EVA. Right. So I, I don't want to hook the aeroponics lab directly to the Kerbitat because this is our side to get in and out. So what I want to do is hopefully connect it to this this uh, little habitat bubble. This isn't particularly a good place for that that module to be poking out from. Maybe I'll move that as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't want you to hop, I just wanted you to let go. Come on. Oh no, I don't have enough little ports, do I? Is that a problem? Yeah, maybe. Hold on, let me go around the base and see. I might not have enough of the little connectors. Let me just see. Uh, I think there's one over here. Okay. 
Um, all right, he's going on his bow. Oh, wait. Uh, orientation not particularly good right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's a heavy load for the guy. Let's face it. Okay. All right. So let me grab the other port and put it back where it needs to be. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This way, this way. Okay, attach to here. Okay, and we're going to link it up with that. Got to remember to bring more of these down to the moon. Okay, link made. Barely enough head clearance for him. Not really enough head clearance for him, actually. Now, I'll get the little... What is it called? Oh, we can't uh, right-click on it. Uh, inflatable agricultural module, yeah. Gonna grab that and put it on a different side so it's not at risk of bumping into anything when it inflates. Can we grab these? Just checking. I want to see if we can pick this docking port up and move it around. No. Okay. Hey, you never know, right? Kerbal attachment system has all sorts of funny little abilities. Ooh, but the landing gear is here. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, deploy and get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. There we go. Phew. All right. Well, anyway, agricultural module deployed. Let's get, let's get him back inside and then we'll see what we can do. But uh, I think uh, we're... We're missing a few resources for that sort of thing. Well, not on him, obviously. And board. So yeah, we need a lot of machinery. Lots of stuff needs machinery. In fact, I don't think the egg is really good enough to bring... I, I Maybe I should bring uh, one of the big canisters of machinery down. But anyway, we've got the egg, so we'll use the egg to bring it down. Missing machinery. Okay, so let's do that. Now, with the egg, things are a little bit trickier because we would like to reserve enough fuel to get back home. But uh, in a pinch, we can dock up with it. I put the docking port up there for a reason, and it can be refueled via docking port. But rather not do that, it's only going to be a success if we can get it back home without refueling it. That looks good. And then on the, oh, I guess the periapsis would be a good place to retroburn. Okay, I'm not going to bother targeting anything right now. Just in case we have the same glitch. The egg does not have an overly powerful engine for its mass, so it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, kill all the horizontal velocity. We're pretty low compared to the the pumpkin bringing in the aeroponics lab. You can see our suicide burn count down there. Okay, 17 kilometers in closing. I've got lights on, I think, but they're downward facing. Okay, we have cleared render range. So I'd like to reserve at least a thousand meters per second for getting off of the moon and then getting back to Kerbin. So that's what I'm looking at right now. 
Okay, not talking very much because this is pretty dicey right now. Unfortunately, the Moonmaster really can't truck this around because it doesn't have wheels on it. And also, it, the Moonmaster can't transport this thing's machinery. I don't know what the range of the Kerbal Attachment System pipes is. I haven't really gone to the limit on those. Any way you look at it, it seems like we're pretty close to stuff. Though it looks like maybe closer to the Helmet Miner side than the Kerbatat side. Okay, here we go. Getting close now. Less than 100 meters. I guess this is as good a landing spot as any. Hopefully I'll be able, able to stretch the Kerbal Attachment System far enough. Can't imagine it wouldn't stretch this point. Yeah, we'll just keep it here. No fine adjustments this time. Oh. Hit a little bit hard. Couldn't see shadow, of course, because there's so much light around. Alright. Egg is pretty big, isn't it? Egg is pretty big. Okay, uh well let's get let's get a Kerbal to hook things up. Uh yeah, sure, let's get Mike. Though it's a little bit hard to get him in his little thing there. Oh, and he flopped. I think I might have done this wrong. I might have to grab a winch from somewhere too. No, no, that's that's right. Okay, good. So that can be linked up. So this I can uh, grab, and I'm gonna attach it to the base. Right, that's as good as any place. Now let's grab that little pipe end point and connect things up and plug dot I think oh dear hold on didn't have anything to plug mm. well uh, I've got two pipe end points maybe they attach to each other let me try that out Okay, link. Okay, now they're linked. All right. Okay, so then, uh, well, for now, let's well, let's leave him there. Let me switch. Not to this. Not to this. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is the complex. And I want to move machinery. Well, in here, I guess. Or no, not uh, yeah, there, yeah. Let's get velocity out of the way for a sec. Transfer. Okay, so we're transferring machinery. So egg has been successful in at least this portion, but it still needs to return, and that means get getting through deadly reentry, which will be the tough part. But I'm not going to take care of the return on in this episode. Two Mooner landings is quite enough for me. So I don't seem to have that bug with... Uh, with what's his name? Mike, right? Mike. Okay. Mike, uh, why don't you unlink that? Good. All right. And actually, uh, it's it'll be helpful to keep the. Well, well, let's just leave it there for now. Okay. We can always when we relaunch the egg, we'll always have a second one anyway. 
So I'm just going to get Mike back to the Windmaster and we'll call it an episode. So we managed to hook up the aeroponics lab. We clearly need a lot more machinery. So we're going to have to deploy a much larger thing than the egg. Unfortunately, probably not a reusable one. The egg will still be useful. We can put any sort of container up there and it'll be able to bring it down as long as it's below its mass limit. So still a useful design if we can get through daily re-entry and safely back to Kerbin. But uh, next time, either looking at contracts or getting uh, more machinery to the moon, or both. We shall see. Okay, well that's not very helpful. Okay, grab. And board. Alright, Mike is safely back in. Gonna have to turn off the lights on the egg. Because otherwise it's eventually gonna run out of electric charge. Uh, it does. Uh, well, it doesn't have its lights on anyway. Okay. Well, uh, so it should be all right. If we need to, we can just hook it back up to the base so that it can get electric charge. But I don't think that'll be necessary. So actually, the first thing. Oh, we do have the problem with Mike. But anyway, uh, the next uh, first thing next time is actually bringing the egg back to Kerbin, and then we'll do everything else. All right. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.